But hello there. I am here. I know you can probably hear my dog barking upstairs. Just getting everything set up. Okay. I think I've got it. Let me try one more thing before I go live. One sec. Okay, so, hello, hello, who is with me today? I see I have at least one person popping in, and I know this isn't my normal time to go live, but I'm just trying to figure out when the best time for everybody is, and when the best time is for me. I seem to get, make plans to go live at a certain time, and then something else happens, and it just doesn't happen lately, so I'm working on that. I'm trying to be better, so I hope uh, maybe this is a good time for you guys. So happy lunch hour. It is TGI Friday, and um, I have a really fun project for you, and we're going to get started in just a second. Let me grab this and do this and do this. Okay, so all right, while we are waiting for a couple of friends to come in, um, I did wanted to remind you all to please hit that S-H-A-R-E tab on your computer or your mobile device. That helps more people see how much fun and easy it is to use Chalk Couture products. So it really is helpful um, for me. I would appreciate it if you would share that. It is the best compliment you can give me. So uh, without further ado, we are going to get started. If you are just hopping in or on replay, be sure to say hello. I am Susan Tapley and I am a executive couturier with Chalk Couture. Um, what that means is a couturier is someone who leads another team and helps other people um, build businesses. So that's what I do. I love my job. I love being creative and sharing this stuff with you too. Um, if you are interested, I have a link at the top of my page. I'm just gonna pop it up here, right at the description of this where it says starter kit. Um, you can join as a hobbyist or you can join as a business builder. Whatever is good for you, and I can absolutely share more information about that if you are interested. So, let's get started on this fun project. Hello, hello. I can see I have a couple people in here now. It is great to see you, and thanks again for the S-H-A-R-E. I say sprinkle. So, um, in front of me today, I have a cute little, and I'm saying little because this is not going to fit me, a cute little black t-shirt that I picked up for my daughter. She's an itty-bitty girl. And this is just about perfect for her. And I asked her if she would like a St. Patrick's Day um, shirt, and she said absolutely. So I'm going to be using two brand new transfers today. The first is called Look for Miracles, which I think is beautiful. And I'm also going to be using a part of this one called I'm the Luckiest. So I'm going to be using this on another project coming up in a week or so. Um, but I'm just going to use the Celtic heart part of this one, or Celtic knot. I'm not quite sure what it's called. I guess it's a Celtic knot. Um, but they're kind of made out of hearts, so we can call it whatever we want, right? I did figure out that it's Celtic and not Celtic today. Celtics are a basketball team in Connecticut. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started. Um, this is a, uh, a t-shirt I picked up at, um, I think it was Michael's. And I have inserted a, an old Cricut mat. So Cricut mats um, are sort of like, they look like this. And they're um, something that I use for cutting paper with mostly, but it's kind of sticky and it'll help um, keep our t-shirt from shifting around. And it'll help prevent the ink from flowing through the front of the shirt to the back. We actually have um, cutting mats. I've got one buried back there somewhere. Um, and they're black and they're a little bit bigger and we also have a small one for like baby t-shirts um, and they're out of stock at the moment so if you have one of these Cricut mats or if you know a scrapbooker who has a Cricut machine they probably have a stash of these old ones so that's all I'm using today and I just have it tucked right inside of my t-shirt so since we're doing an Irish shirt today I'm gonna tell you I am not Irish at all not even a little bit um, actually, um, I have England English descendants. However, um, on St. Patrick's Day, I become Irish for the day. Susan O'Tapley. That's what they call me. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this transfer apart. Whenever you see straight lines like these, that means that's an area where you want to cut. 
So I'm gonna try something a little different. I just saw this trick from another designer. Usually I just cut these all apart into pieces and throw them back in the bag after I've used them. Um, they are reusable silk screen transfers, so you can use them another day. But I saw this trick and I thought it was pretty cool. This lady took um, a straight edge ruler and she said she used a scalpel, but I'm just using um, a, bla a crafting blade that I have on hand. And I'm going to cut just this side of the line here in a not too deep just kind of barely I can feel it and hear it kind of zipping through here but I don't want to cut all the way through the paper and I'll show you why I'm gonna cut this line here I'm gonna cut two pieces right there I'm using a self-healing cutting mat behind it by the way and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna make a quick cut on either side of that cutting line the reason is that it's hopefully <laughs> gonna save me my carrier sheet from being cut up into lots of pieces and I can just put um, the pieces that I need exactly where they go without having several three different pieces all over the place so cross your fingers we'll see if it worked I should be able to pull this piece out oh it's working look at that it's a little slip of uh, sticky um, transfer paper and let's see if this ended it too it did all right let me throw those away. Keep it neat. I'm stuck to my hands, of course. It's got coming off. <laughs> All right, that wants to stay with me. So we're going to be using these two pieces, and these are um, numbered, number one and number two, and those are the, the order that you would use the layers. So I'm going to get this out of my way for now and just peel off number one so as you can see the paper is intact it is not cut up all over the place I did go through a little bit but that's okay put a piece of tape there but I can put this right back on later so I keep my set all together so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this kind of off to the side just a little bit I'm hoping I'm doing this in the right order because I want this to be able to tuck in tight next to it that looks pretty good right there, right? Pretty balanced. All right, so um, I do have some registration marks right here. I'm gonna pull those up nice and close so you can see them. It's like a little hole in the transfer that if you're using this on a surface like a chalkboard, um, you would chalk right into that area. Because we're using permanent ink, I don't wanna ink those parts right there. So I'm gonna put a little piece of tape underneath it. If I can find some. Got some right here. So this is just painter's tape. And I'm gonna put a little bit behind each of those registration marks so I can chalk or ink the registration marks but not the t-shirt. That's good. And a little bit over here, just right underneath that opening. So these are not stencils at all, they are reusable silk screen transfers. They can be used over and over again. Hi Shelly. Yeah, I love this too. Even though I'm not Irish, I love it. I'm Irish for the day on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so we've got that on. And I have my colors here somewhere. Here they are. I have bright white, I have meadow, and I also have shimmer gold. So you guys might recognize these if you've been chalking and inking with me for a while. I have three ounce jars which are available now. These I have had, these two ounce jars, I have had since I became a designer um, almost three and a half years ago and they are beautiful. They stayed lovely. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do this, this part, kind of like the shamrock part of it in Meadow and put accents of gold with the extra piece that goes on top of it. Okay. Have you used this yet, Shelly? Okay, these also have this crazy little plastic cover on top, which can be a little messy, so I'm gonna be real careful about putting that to the side. While you are inking, I always recommend that you have some sort of baby wipe or disinfectant wipe or something that you can clean your fingers with at hand. I don't know about you, but I tend to get ink on my fingers while I'm working or chalk, whatever the case may be. And just keeping one close at hand and check your fingers often so that you don't get a little bit of whatever you don't want over there all over your shirt because that's the way I tend to roll. 
Okay, so I've got my paste, uh, my ink out, excuse me, I need a squeegee. I'm just gonna be using a mini squeegee for this project. You always wanna use a squeegee that is the most appropriate for your si for the size of your project. So if I was doing a large project, I would use a larger squeegee than this one, but this is a mini. So I'm gonna scoop out some of that ink. And you don't need to use a ton, just kind of sparingly. And you're gonna spread it all over your design, much like you would do if you were buttering your toast. I know that is my phrase, isn't it? I say it all the time. So try to work in one direction. Don't go side to side and up and down. I usually just tend to go up and down with it. Um, if you get too aggressive with it, it'll, it'll leak underneath your, your transfer. So you wanna just be careful. Use a medium pressure and spread it all around. So you don't need to cover the whole teal area, just the areas where there's an opening where you can see the black through. That's actually a screen that I'm pushing the ink through. Um, having the screen is what gives all of the detail that you'll see in our designs. Okay, so I gotta remember to get those little registration marks, so get some paste on those, don't forget them. That will be important after. So if you're working on an ink project, you don't even have to fuzz your transfer. In case you wondered, if you've chalked with me before, you might have seen us fuzzing. Um, and what that is, is putting a little bit of um, fuzz from a towel or a t-shirt on the back of your transfer to um, soften the stickiness of the transfer, because some of them are super sticky. All right, this is the fun part, the peel and reveal. So here we go, we're just gonna peel this off nice and easy. I'm gonna keep my ink handy in case I need to touch up at all, but it should be good. Ugh, my uh, tape is coming up too, so let me fix that. Stay. And you too. Hmm. Okay, I think, think I've got it. Sorry, I'm blocking your view here. I wanna keep that pretty flat if I can. It's nice and easy. Ta-da! So cute. All right, so we're gonna dry this a little bit. I have a heat tool available to dry my projects with. Wanna know a cool thing is that Chalk Tours has a brand new heat tool of their own coming out in just um, a couple of weeks, like within the next couple of weeks. We've had a product launch recently and, and a whole bunch of our products are stuck on a barge in a harbor. I guess there's some gridlock going on there, but it shouldn't be too much longer. But you're gonna dry this, you know, so as much as you can so that it's not soaking wet. And then we'll do the second layer. So chalk, chalk dries a lot quicker than ink does, just so you know. So I'm gonna get this until I can see that it's not shiny wet anymore. Irish. What is your last name? Are you Irish? Your husband might be or not. I don't know. I don't know about you. So those little green marks that I left on the tape, I'm going to line up these little marks, these registration marks here, if I can. It's hard to see. Oh my goodness, it's hard to see. It's right about here. I can see through the transfer better than I can see those registration marks. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball it, I think. About here. This is tricky, you guys, without the registration marks. There we go, now I'm almost there. Hmm. Yep, I'm pretty, pretty close to those registration marks, so I must be in the right area. <laughs> That's hard. All right. This one right here looks a little wonky. Let's 
kind of stretch the t-shirt just a little bit when I put it down. So bear with me a sec. Let's see how this looks. All right, it's going to be a leap of faith, you guys. Okay, check those fingers here and there all the time. Rub that down, and I'm going to go in with my gold next. Let's see. I, I got to tell you guys, this ink has stayed perfect as long as I've had it. It is still gorgeous. All right, let's get another squeegee. Got all my fun stuff here. A bigger one than that. Okay, here we go. We're going to go in and scoop some of this. So I'm nervous that I'm in the wrong spot, but I think I'm pretty pretty close. Okay, we're going to scoop that out and again spread it over the design, covering all of the open areas where this green is. So, Shelly, are you still here? Have you ever been in a St. Patrick's Day parade? Anybody else who's watching? We have a really big, really big parade here. Not, not in my town, but a couple towns over called Holyoke. Um, who has a huge parade every year. I think they canceled it last year, and, and I think they're canceling it also this year, which is so sad. It's such a tradition. People are really missing stuff like that. Okay, so I want to make sure I have a nice, good coating on my transfer. And then, just like the chalk, you just scrape off all the excess and put it back into your jar. No wasting. All right, cross your fingers. Cross the fingers. We need the luck of the Irish right now to make sure I line that up. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just going to peel that off nice and easy. <gasps> oh, so pretty. I was off a smidge. It doesn't matter. It looks really, really good. I love it. Okay, so I don't need this tape anymore, so that can come off. By the way, the link for the transfers that I'm using are right in the description of this video. So if you want to check it out, um, click on the link and I put everything that I'm using that's in stock in the cart there. If there's something that you don't want or you already have that's in the cart, you just remove it. Um, another really fun fact to know is that never before has this happened, but um, we just starting having our new catalogs available to our for our customers to order right on the website. So you can also grab one of those catalogs. Um, I was just telling Linda, one of my one of my customers, that it's kind of like the Christmas wish book we used to get when we were kids. Sears and JCPenney used to send a big wish book every fall and my sister, my brother and I used to get different color markers and circle all of the things that we wanted for Christmas. Did you do that? This is so pretty. I'm going to hold it up close so you can see it. Look how gorgeous that looks. I'll have to have her model it so you can see it. When I am off um, this live, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those dirty transfers over to my sink and clean them. We have something called a board eraser, which I don't have on my table right now, but it's a little white um, kind of a sponge. It looks like a magic eraser um, that I used to clean my transfers with. It works beautifully. Um, they're very inexpensive. You'll also find those in my store. Um, but you can clean your transfers with them as well as your chalkboard surfaces and any other non-porous surfaces. They work great. Um, and they're chemical free, so you don't have to worry about burns or you know any uh, anything dangerous for your skin or your surfaces. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Look for Miracles and kind of layer it on top. I don't know if it's gonna hit fit I don't know if it's gonna hit exactly on top. I'm trying to avoid too much overlap, but if we have overlap that's okay too. That is okay. So, all right, so here's my transfer. So cute. 
I didn't scratch right on the backs of these both times, guys. Thanks. So I can make it. Should I let it overlap a little? No, I'm afraid it'll get muddled. So I'm going to avoid it if I can. I'm trying to tuck this in. I'm going to have the S go over just a smidge. Right there. So we're going to have a little tiny overlap with the S on the bottom of the, the thing. It's starting to stick a little bit, so I'm going to put this right here for now. Okay, give that a good rub down with your fingers. Make sure that's as tight as you can get it. All right, and we're going to go in with white on this part. Let's see if I can get rid of this. Ooh. Hello, Tracy Miller. How are you today? Nice of you to join us. Okay, so get a clean squeegee over here. We have two projects to do today, so I hope you guys have your lunch ready or at least a nice hot cup of coffee. I just made one. If I can find it. Okay, here we go with the white. Scooping that up and spreading it on. Tracy, are you Irish? I'm wondering about that. Asking people if they are. If you're like me, you're going to be Irish for the day. Look at me with chalk on my fingers. That's what I was telling you about. Clean them off. So you don't have to work quite as quickly with our inks because they don't dry as fast, which is lovely. Let me just clean my fingers off a little bit. It would be just my luck to get my white chalk paste on my black t-shirt in spaces where I don't want it. Because I'm a little bit like that. Okay, the only part I haven't covered yet is that little tail. I'm going to wait right till the end for that. I'm going to scrape off the excess, scrape it right back into my jar. You're not Irish? Are you Irish for the day? That would make you Tracy O. Miller. I just got to put an O in front of your last name. Works for me. Okay, now get that little tail. I'm just trying to avoid putting the transfer right on that beautiful Celtic piece that we already did. So let's see if we can get the tip of that S done. I think I've got it. All right, ready? Ink your fingers. <gasps> so cute. Isn't that darling? looks so good. I touched it. I knew I'd do it. Right here. I got it off quick enough. I caught it just for the day. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's see. All right. They are clean. So what do you think? Do you love it? I think I'd wear that on other days other than St. Patrick's Day. I think Emily will like it too. Okay. So now I have another project today. I hope you guys are loving this lunchtime that I've, uh, I just dropped my squeegee on the t-shirt too. Told ya. Okay, this disinfectant wipe is getting it off. I've had a few things that I've gotten ink on that I could not get it off of, so. Um, oh, thank you. One of the fun things about working on black, here's a little trick for you. If you happen to get ink where you don't want it, um, get a Sharpie or black chalk paste, uh, yeah, black ink and cover it up. You can work it. All right, I think I have it all off and I'm going to move this to the side so I, I just did it again. So I don't destroy the shirt. All right, it is gone. I'm just going to move this. I will show it to you. Let me flip my camera so I can show it to you um, this way. Let's see. Here we go. Isn't that cute? I think it looks great. I love it. Okay, let's put this back here. Put on my fun Valentine's projects we've been making lately. Those have been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed them a lot. So we will, uh, I think we're about done with our Valentine's though. Because it's here, like next week, right? 
All right, so let me put this stuff aside that we've been working with. And we will get started on our next project, which does, by the way, involve some power tools. Get ready. <laughs> thank you, Tracy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we gotta get these lids on later. All right, let's see what else we got here. You ready for the next one? So the next project that I'm working on um, is actually, I think I'm gonna do it as a project workshop in my local studio. Um, I have a small studio here in Agawa, Mass, where I do very small project workshops with my customers. Um, usually no more than four or possibly five at a time. We're socially distanced, we're masked, I sanitize, I scan your forehead, I sanitize your hands. Um, but if, if you are in that my local area and would like to be included in invitations to these projects, um, put VIP in the comments if you are not in my VIP group already so that I can invite you. Okay, so this one, I have to decide which part of this transfer um, I want to use. I bought these, um, and knowing they were retiring, this is called Fresh Flowers, but I really have always really liked them. So we're going to do a very simple chalk with them, but the project is really, really cool. So I just have to decide bouquets and vases or market fresh flowers which one to use. And in my work, workshop that I'll be having, you can choose either one. But I think I'm going to use the Market Fresh Flowers on this. We're going to make a tray out of wood. I've already cut, cut it and painted it, and it is ready for this beautiful transfer. So let's pull this out of the package. Come on. Yeah, I thought this was a gorgeous collection. What's going on here? does not want to come out of the package. I don't know where it's stuck, but it is. I try to take good care of these because you can put your, usually you can put your transfer right back inside of them when you're done. So we're going to be using Market Fresh Flowers today. Oh, there's a little bit of adhesive on the front here. That's what did it. So I'm going to go in with that blade again and I'm going to do the same thing so that I can put this right back where it was on the carrier sheet without cutting the whole thing up. So let's go here and here. I'm just using a very light pressure on the knife on the blade. And hopefully they'll meet up on the other end. You can cut these apart with your scissors. I'm just trying something different because why not? Okay, so this little strip should peel off. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I didn't cut all the way through this part. There we go. Not bad. All right. Okay, so let me show you the surface I have, and we need to prep it just a little bit. So this, let's see, this is my surface, and it is, I'm going to say about yeah, 12, I didn't, I didn't measure beforehand. It's about 24 inches long by um, 9 inches, so it's probably from a 1 by 10. Let me see if I can get this up a little high. Not sure that's gonna work out. You won't be able to see the whole thing at one time. Sorry. Okay. So I'm using this one by ten, and we've I've got some pieces cut so that we can put handles on the end and make a really pretty tray that you could put on your bed, you can put it on your coffee table, whatever you need a little bit of something. So I'm gonna take my transfer, and before I actually uh, put it on my surface, I'm going to fuzz this, but I'm also going to wax this. Don't let me forget that. Um, because our transfers are very sticky sometimes, using them on a surface just like this, like wood, sometimes you wanna put a little bit of wax on. So this is actually called Surface Wax. It's by Chuck Tour and is also in my shop. Um, I used to use a butcher's wax, and that works fine, although it's smelly. It just, it smells a lot. <laughs> And um, some people don't like the smell of it. I don't mind it. I, it takes a while for it to dissipate. 
but um, it also is yellow it can, it, and it can yellow your project. So I'm gonna keep this pretty and white for now. And then we can decide if we wanna grunge it up at all. So I'm just using a little bit of wax and rubbing it in well. Not going right to the ends because our transfer won't go that far. Okay, we are done. So I am gonna fuzz the, wax, fuzz the transfer anyway. So this is a fuzzing towel. Um, you can see it's been well loved, and I'm gonna see how um, how sticky this transfer is. It's pretty darn sticky. Okay, let me put this here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it on and off of this um, towel. This is a Chocotour fuzzing towel. However, if you don't have one, you can use your own bath towel or a t-shirt or your jeans. Anything that will help it pick up just a little bit of lint so that it's not sticking to your surface quite as hard. It just softens the adhesive. Let's see, Let me give that a feel. Um, fuzzing is really important, especially if you're doing a layering project, which this is not, but it's just something to be aware of. Okay, so the other side of this towel is microfiber which is beautiful after you have um, taken your dirty transfers to the sink and cleaned them with your board erasers. Um, you wanna dry them sticky side up on something absorbent like this, like the microfiber, so it does serve a couple of purposes. All right, so I'm going to put this a little bit towards the bottom of this surface. And the reason why is if it's in the center and you put things on here like I intend to do, the whole design will be covered up right in the center. So this way you can have a couple little things up towards the back and it'll be, um, you'll still be able to see the design. All right, so I'm gonna give this a nice medium pressure rub down, make sure there are no bumps, bubbles, or folds in the design. I want something right there, but it's in the blue area. If you have a little piece of dust and it's in the blue area, don't worry about it. But if it's underneath your um, transfer, you might wanna just Peel it back and re-stick it down after you've taken that dust or lint out of there. None of us have dust, right? <laughs> I have dust because I'd rather be chalking than cleaning. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, Storm chalk paste. So I earlier checked this and it's pretty nice. I already stirred it up. You always want to stir up your chalk paste and make sure it's a nice, um, nice smooth consistency, as smooth as you can get it and about the consistency of cake batter. So I did this a little while ago, and I'm really surprised that it's as thick as it is because I did add quite a bit of water, so I'm gonna add a bit more. And I'm using um, distilled water that I picked up at the grocery store. You can get a whole gallon for a little bit of nothing. And use that to thin it if it gets thick. Um, try not to use tap water if you can possibly avoid it because there are some contaminants in your water that can cause um, your chalk paste to mold. So nobody likes moldy chalk paste. If you guys have any questions while I'm working, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, that is nicely stirred up. And I'm going to use the small squeegee tonight today for this one. Whoops, got all the dust on there. So I'm just gonna show you the difference between the small squeegee and the mini squeegee. So this one I absolutely could use, but this is a larger project, so this would be a little bit more efficient. So, all right, so I'm gonna go and scoop this up and just spread it over the design. I usually start it up at the top like so and pull it down. Use more than you think you need if you are new at chalking because all the rest goes right back into the jar, like, just like it did with the t-shirt we did earlier. So I've got lots of chalk on here, and I'm just gonna pull it across the design, covering all of those open areas. It's pretty hard, isn't it? I'm being sarcastic, it really isn't. It really, truly isn't. Okay, the whole thing's covered, and I'm gonna go back in and scoop off all that excess paste. You can go back and forth with this one either direction. It matters a little bit more with the ink for some reason. I don't know why. It's a little bit thinner. Um, it's, it's more of like a silky consistency. Okay, 
So I've got that pretty well scraped off and we are ready to remove the transfer. You ready? So I always start by pulling at the corner, but as soon as you can grab it from the center of the transfer, the better. So not from the corners, from the center. If you keep pulling it from the corner all the way across, you're gonna stretch your transfer. Look how pretty that looks. Come on, there we go. So pretty. Stick that transfer to my table. I'm gonna dry this up a little bit. So this would dry really, really quickly on its own. It would take about five minutes for this to dry, just air dry. Of course, if you have a hot room, um, it'll dry faster than if you have a humid room. But it doesn't take long at all. You can just let it air dry. You can use your hair dryer, you can use your heat tool. Whatever works for you. That is it. All right, so now, now come the power tools. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put put this bar here and this one here. Kind of makes it framed a little bit. You could absolutely hang this on your walls or you can use it um, as a tray. Either way. And I have these cute little old fashioned handles that I picked up that I wanna put on either side of this. I think if you were gonna hang it on the wall, I probably would center the, the words though. So, like so. How sweet is that? All right, let's get the power tools off. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay, let me grab my, my gun here. Where is it? All right, this is a little noisy. So you're gonna to have to bear with me a little bit. <laughs> And I'm also going to turn the project so I can make sure I get it in the right spot. Make sure this is straight. I'm leaving about half an inch on the edges showing. I just kind of like that look. You could go right to the edges, but I like that little, it's a little bit of detail with the extra there. That's pretty good. All right, here we go. It might get loud. Oops. Don't think that was supposed to come off. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to hammer these in a little bit too. Yeah, I will. It looks like they just didn't go in quite far enough, but it's all right. Let's grab my hammer in the other room quick. I don't know why that happens with this. It's happened to me before with this gun. I'm not sure why, but it does. Trying to keep them from going through my hands, right? Okay, now, here's a question for you while I'm doing this. Do you think I should sand the flowers a little bit so it's a little bit um, distressed looking or just leave it plain? Tell me what you think. That is so crazy that they're not going all the way in. We can fix it. I've seen that happen to my husband, so I know it's not just me. Okay, so I'll, I'll fix those later when I'm not on camera, but I'll, I'll absolutely again, you can send you a picture of it all, all partied up. So I have my little handles here and the screws. My screwdriver does not want to charge today, so we're going to have to do it manually, which is not a big deal. Tracy thinks I should leave it. Anybody else? What do you think? Should I sand this a little bit and make it rustic? Or just leave it? Could go either way. Okay, let's get these. I put a, put 
put little uh, holes in there so I could start these without having as much trouble as I would normally without a starter hole. Screw that in. We're going to even stage this while we're live today. How's that? Oops. Try not to strip the screws. Did you ever do that? I'm really good at stripping screws. I don't mean to, but it happens. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing this as a workshop. Um, if you are watching and you are local to me and think this would be fun to do, let me know. Tell me in the comments. Tracy, where are you from? If I have any new viewers out there too, say hello, let me know you're here. Some did not want to go all the way in. Maybe it is all the way in. Okay, let's get this one. Then we're gonna stage this and make it look cute. It is pretty cute though, I gotta say. I gotta say. So one of the things I was going to mention is that um, if you are going to use this to actually like carry things on it, make sure that you um, seal it. And the way that you do that is you get some of that uh, matte Rust-Oleum um, sealer. I like to use matte because I, don't, I like it to look chalky and not... Um... Andy, Anna! Wow! Um, I like it to look chalky and not shiny like a, a modern look. I like the kind of the old-fashioned look. So I try to keep it, use a matte spray finish, and that'll help it prevent it from chipping your paint, your chalk, rather. So you're going to put a couple of very light coats on it. If you spray, uh, sorry, I have sawdust in my nose. I've been, <laughs> I've been cutting wood in my workshop all morning, and I, I tend to get really stuffy. From the sawdust and I should wear a mask but I've had enough mask wearing for the rest of my life um, anyway do a couple light coats because if you do it if you saturate this um, the wetness of it will actually um, reactivate your chalk and it can get liquidy and bleed so that's just a beware for you look how stinking sweet that is I love her all right, I'm gonna turn this around and see if we can dress this up. Let's see if you can, I'll have to tip my camera a little bit so you can see it on the table. Oh, I don't think I can. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll do it on here and then I will hold it up for you. How's that? <laughs> okay, so um, last week we made these cute little cupcakes and I had this adorable little cupcake stand. This was from Target Dollar Spot, in case you wondered. And we made these cute little faux cupcakes. You remember that? Tell me this doesn't look real. Except for the sparkly cherry. Okay. <laughs> and then I have this little, um, this little, chick it's like a chicken wire container that has glass bottles in it. And I have some pretty little flowers in there. See where I'm going with this? And since Valentine's just around the corner, Valentine's Day, we'll put a little heart on there. And it looks amazing. So I'm going to flip my camera so that you can see all of it all together. Turn this around. Let's see if I can do this without dropping it anyway, right? I know I have to fix those nails, but look how pretty this looks. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I think it's so sweet. All right, so you guys... As I was saying, um, this most of this will be done in a project workshop, the things that I did here, but the, pro, the materials that I used for the t-shirt earlier, let me go back this way, oh darn it, sorry, let me try that one more time, um, there we go, um, the t-shirt that I showed you earlier, I put everything that's available on my website in the link at the top of this um, description of this event, so you can see that there, boy did that get dusty. Um, and if you are local to me, you definitely want to check out this workshop. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, oh, thank you for the hearts. I love that. So up at the top of the description, not only do I have the products used, I also have a link for the starter kit. 
Um, you can buy all of these products on my website anytime you want to. However, as a designer, you get some perks including wholesale pricing um, and the ability to turn your crafting into an income for you. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. You can also click on my link and see all the information that is on my website about that. I also wanted to remind you that we do have an exclusive kit just for our uh, my club members where you receive a B size transfer, which is the size of the two that I use on the t-shirt today. Nope, the one, the one with the Celtic heart. Um, you get one of those and three chalk paste singles every month delivered to your door. It's always a really fun surprise. Um, as well as you get a free catalog every time they come out. You get, usually there's a special every month for our club mem members. Um, reduced flat rate shipping. So there's lots of ways that you can get involved with Chalk Couture, whether you want to just create something, whether you want to purchase the kit, the startup kit, or um, be a club member. And I would love it if you would, you know, let me know if you're interested in any of those at all. Okay, let's see what I got here. Ah, wish I had money. Oh, I know. I know, Tracy. It's only $99 for the kit, in case you wondered. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun creating, and I will be back on Monday. Samples, Tracy. I will in a couple of weeks. I'll have some samples that you can order. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed spending lunch hour with you, and I will see you again real soon, probably on Monday. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.